within a depression of stunted oaks and firs, twisted and bent by the fury of years, stood the ancient walls of Baskerville Hall. A dull light shone through the heavy mullioned windows, and from the high chimneys there sprang a single column of black smoke. In the distance there rose a strange, melancholy hill, its jagged summit bleak and vague. There was something about that dark, forbidding view that alerted fears greater than Baskerville had ever encountered before. My dear Holmes, the longer one stays here, the more affected one becomes by the charmless spirit of the place. Its vast grimness leaves me feeling immensely desolate. In the late afternoon, I decided to walk out upon the sodden moor toward the row of ancient huts that dotted the landscape like pebbles. The heavy, slate-colored clouds hung low like gray and battered wreaths as the rain beat roughly against my face. Rank weeds and slimy water plants threw an odor of decay into our faces. More than once we plunged thigh-deep into the dark, quivering mire which shook around our feet, its tenacious grip plucking at our heels as we walked. It was as if some malignant hand had tugged us down into obscene depths. So grim and purposeful was the clutch in which it held us. Never in the delirious dream of a disordered brain could anything more savage, more appalling, more hellish be conceived than the dark form and savage face which broke upon us out of the wall of fog. 